Welcome to our USF Dons post-game recap. I'm Brad Professor B. Davis on Dons TV. The Dons winning one in a thriller on the hilltop. In case you missed it, Sunday afternoon, the Dons end up winning it 10-9 in 12 innings on a walk-off double by Dons sophomore shortstop Jack Winkler with one out in the bottom half of the 12th inning, scoring Tyler Villaroman all the way from first base. It was a win a Thriller on the Hilltop Sunday afternoon, and in case you missed it, too bad. We've seen it all. We saw just about everything in the contest. Also, including when Don's head coach, Neil Giratano, was ejected from the game in the eighth inning that ended up tying that or giving the, the Gales the lead. This was after when the Don's blew multiple leads, a 3-1 to lead. They were ahead 6-5, to and then they come back. And then they took that lead, and the Dons, uh, near, on the, the call by home plate umpire in the contest by Sean Lampley, Lampy, on a call that uh, Robert Emery blocked the plate, and they probably ruled interference, and it looked like it was a bang-bang play, but it turned out to be a footnote as the Dons rallied to come back in the bottom of the 18th to score four times to go ahead 9-6, to six only to see the Gales score three times in the top of the ninth inning to go to tie it. And then after that, it was scoreless to the bottom of the 12th inning when Jack Winkler hits a walk-off double to score. Tyler Villaroman from first to Dines end up winning it by a score of 10-9. to nine. Alex Pham, four innings pitched, no earned runs, walked one with five strikeouts in the contest. Overall, we'll give you the final totals. For your Dons, nine runs, 17 hits, one error they left, 11 runners left on base. The St. Mary's Gales with nine runs, 16 hits, one error they left, 12 runners on base. The winning pitcher, Alex Pham, record goes to 3-1. and one. Dalton Ponce for the Gales was the losing pitcher. His record drops to 2-3. and three. Home runs of the contest was by Gabe Gosso. He went 2-4, uh, for four. He had a big three-run homer in the... Eighth inning, or had a big three-run homer in the seventh inning that put the Gales ahead by one. And then uh, also having great days was Tyler Villaroman, four for six, three runs scored RBI. Jack Winkler, Winkler went two, two for six, three hits, three runs scored, and he got a pair of RBIs. Riley Hillen had a perfect day, four for four with a run scored, four RBIs. In the contest. With the win, the Duns go to improve their record to 10 and 5 in West Coast Conference play, 21 and 14 overall. And the Gales, for the second time in two weeks, were swept. They dropped the 6 and 6 in West Coast Conference play and 20 and 15 overall for the Duns. It's their first three game series sweep over the Gales on the Hilltop since May 11th through the 13th of 2007 in that contest. So, the Dons will have an off day on Monday. Next game for the Dons, they'll take on the Nevada Wolfpack from the Mountain West Conference. For the midweek game, it will be Tuesday. First pitch is at 3 p.m. Pacific. The game will be seen on the W.TV. We will have our version of the USF Dons pregame show for the Dons take on the Nevada Wolfpack with Coach Nia Giartano. Pre-game, we're looking like around between 12.40, 12.45 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Don's TV. For the get your tickets, go to USF Don's on the box office at 415-422-2USF. That's 415-422-2USF. This will be the final game of, will conclude the final game of the nine-game homestand before the Don's hit on the road to play the next two weekends in West Coast Conference play. Check up all the action on usfdons.com for more information. And the Dons box office, 415-422-2USF. Box office open daily, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's it from now. I'm Brian Professor B. Davis. Once again, the final score, Dons win it. Sunday afternoon, they swept. They complete a three-game sweep over the St. Mary's Gales on the hilltop. Dons 10, Gales 9 in 12 innings. I'm Brian Professor B. Davis for Dons TV. Don's TV, in association with ASN Bay Area.